it's the end of a very busy morning for us. We are now standing just outside the Tokyo Olympic Stadium. I'm pretty sure you've seen um, this thing before. Um, very popular spot for photos from or by you know athletes and just members of the public, uh, working staff alike. Um, this morning, of course, we got the opportunity to interview some, some athletes at training and, ob and observe their training session not too far away from here at the warm-up track for the Tokyo Olympic Stadium. It's the same track that they're going to be warming up on just before their competition inside this venue in a few days' time. So, looking for those videos, we got to speak to quite a few of the athletes and a couple of the coaches as well. The build-up to getting here was still a challenge, but I'm just grateful that I'm here. I just want to say, ever since the trials finished, practice has been feeling a lot better, a lot quicker, and a lot smoother. So I'm feeling healthy. I feel like I'm feeling refreshed. I feel like rejuvenation. So I'm looking forward to next week. I want to make an impact. Um, I know I can. So it, it's different. No more experience. Uh, so I wanna, I wanna do well at this big top, right? the top, 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 this is the first time I've seen so many new Olympians and, and so it, required, it requires, as I would have been saying from very early, a, a, a management team that, that have numbers because a lot of them need individual attention. But we know what it is in terms of the numbers and the Olympics and I'm hoping that the relevant authorities, the IAF, those persons who are in charge, will make the, the necessary representation in terms of officials per team. Uh, so as you said earlier, we have a lot of youngsters and they're in awe based on what they, they would have seen so far. And I, I cannot say exactly what will happen and what the effects are because as I said we have only gone through one session and today you now we'll be seeing everyone and then I'll be able to make a decision moving forward. I, I'm not sure if there's a sports psychologist but I think the GOA would have provided one. And so we're going to utilize those services once everything has been formalized and we are, we, we are sure who the person is and how we can make contact. But based on my information, we have one. And, and, and a sports psychologist should make a huge difference in terms of assisting these younger athletes to cycle in. I'm excited because it's the first time I'm actually training for just the Olympics. Um, first time all the colleges is training. So I'm excited to see what um, all the hard work is going to bring. In terms of the technical execution, um, what has Coach Maurice Wilson advised you to do? Well, um, mostly just to remember how I used to run because coming back it was like I had to literally try to run again. So it was a challenge, but it all comes down to muscle memory. This is a very technical event. What are the errors you're, you're giving most attention to at this stage? Um, I think it's more just staying clean and not forgetting the little things as far as starting right, staying low, staying tall over the hurdles, the little things. Triple jump is a, is a very technical thing and it's, it comes with maturity. So the older you get, is the better you will get. So she's still 29. Um, the best is yet to come. I think, you know, the best four or five a year or so is still left to come. How stiff do you think the competition will be at the Olympics? Rojas and company coming out as well. Um, well, it's the Olympic, it's the Olympic year. So everybody will, will, will be coming out, um, you know what I mean, to deliver. Um, she's been in the top two so far, but we're not taking it, anything for granted. You know, Ross will be coming, um, trying to get in um, the world record. Uh, we have uh, the Cuban who's at 14.9, we have uh, the Americans at 14, like, like, like right, Shanika, and a few others. Kimberly Williams also, as I said earlier, about maturity. The older she gets, the better she, you know, she's getting ripe. She, she's a PB this year. So, I mean, everybody will be coming with the, with the game. So we'll have to go out there and just basically treat it like a, um, any major championship. So. How much improvement do you see from Shanika, um, perhaps at this championship or, or in the near future? Well, if we want an indication, um, early season, as I said, she got 1498. And as I said, she has hitting better numbers, both in the weight room, um, in the short approach and in the sprint time. So definitely um, we should see something um, beyond um, her personal best. Well, things went well yesterday. Uh, I felt the athletes were able to progress in a very um, incremental way in terms of trying to get back their bodies in shape. Uh, where we had some issues were with the transportation. Where I, 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 I do believe that the bus needs to come earlier because well, it was first day, so I think they were trying to sort through the um, glitches. But we were having similar problems today, so I am expecting that by tomorrow. 
um, we should have a, 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 a better scheduling of the buses. It is important to note that we're still settling in. Uh, the logistics are, are, are difficult and so uh, we have not been able to meet with the medical team per se. But we're hoping to have that as soon as possible once all the athletes are in. Because as you know, a couple of athletes are still coming in. So once they are all in, then we should be able to um, deal with some of the perceived uh, issues that we may have that can, can, can be solved that will make uh, this journey a successful one. Okay. What are your ambitions at the end of the game? Of course, um, you came very close to the medal at the last time you the championship. What are you expecting at this game? Well, I wouldn't put expectations out here, but I'm just going out here to do my best. Definitely, I would I am aiming for a medal. So, I'm just going out here to do my best. Honestly, truly, if, if I know if I execute right and God got me and God got favor over me, then I can get a medal. So that's the goal. Um, just to do my best because I know once I do my best, um, it's gonna it's gonna be a good great meet. So I just want to execute what we've been working on. Um, I think once I do that, it's gonna be a session. That's gonna be it for for this morning session. Later on, we're gonna be heading over, of course, to the aquatic center where Keenan Dawes will, of course, be making his Olympic debut. So until then, we'll see you next time.